Although there are many celebrations throughout the year, Tet, or the Lunar New Year holiday, is the most important celebration for Vietnamese people. Tet is a festival which occurs in late January or early February. It is a time for families to clean and decorate their homes and enjoy special food such as sticky rice cakes. Family members who live apart try to be together at Tet. Passover is in late March or early April. This festival is celebrated in Israel and by all Jewish people. On this festival, people celebrate freedom from slavery. Passover is also an ancient spring festival. On the first and second nights of Passover, Jewish families eat a special meal called the Seder. Easter is a joyful festival which is celebrated in many countries. It happens at around the same time as Passover. On Easter Day, Easter Sunday, young children receive chocolate or sugar eggs, as long as they're good. In many countries, people crowd the streets to watch colorful parades. Although there are many celebrations throughout the year, Tet, or the Lunar New Year holiday, is the most important celebration for Vietnamese people. Tet is a festival which occurs in late January or early February. It is a time for families to clean and decorate their homes and enjoy special food such as sticky rice cakes. Family members who live apart try to be together at Tet. Passover is in late March or early April. This festival is celebrated in Israel and by all Jewish people. On this festival, people celebrate freedom from slavery. Passover is also an ancient spring festival. On the first and second nights of Passover, Jewish families eat a special meal called the Seder. Easter is a joyful festival which is celebrated in many countries. It happens at around the same time as Passover. On Easter Day, Easter Sunday, young children receive chocolate or sugar eggs, as long as they're good. In many countries, people crowd the streets to watch colorful parades. Are you looking for a cheap, clean, effective source of power that doesn't cause pollution or waste natural resources? Look no further than solar energy from our sun. At present, most of our electricity comes from the use of coal, gas, oil, or nuclear power. This power could be provided by the sun. One percent of the solar energy that reaches the earth is enough to provide power for the total population. Many countries are already using solar energy. Solar panels are placed on the roof of a house and the sun's energy is used to heat water. The energy can be stored for a number of days, so on cloudy days you can use solar energy too. Sweden has an advanced solar energy program. There, all buildings will be heated by solar energy and cars will use solar power instead of gas by the year 2015. Are you looking for a cheap, clean, effective source of power that doesn't cause pollution or waste natural resources? Look no further than solar energy from our sun. At present, most of our electricity comes from the use of coal, gas, oil, or nuclear power. This power could be provided by the sun. One percent of the solar energy that reaches the earth is enough to provide power for the total population. Many countries are already using solar energy. Solar panels are placed on the roof of a house and the sun's energy is used to heat water. 
the energy can be stored for a number of days, so on cloudy days you can use solar energy too. Sweden has an advanced solar energy program. There, all buildings will be heated by solar energy and cars will use solar power instead of gas by the year 2015. In Western countries, electricity, gas, and water are not luxuries, but necessities. Companies now realize that consumers want products that will not only work effectively, but also save money. For most North American households, lighting accounts for 10% to 15% of the electricity bill. However, this amount can be reduced by replacing an ordinary 100 watt light bulb with an energy saving bulb. These bulbs use a quarter of the electricity of standard bulbs and last eight times longer. Therefore, consumers can save about US $7 to US $21 per bulb. In Europe, there is a labeling scheme for refrigerators, freezers, washing machines, and tumble dryers. The label tells the consumer how much energy efficiency each model has compared with other appliances in the same category. Ultimately, these innovations will save money as well as conserve the Earth's resources. In Western countries, electricity, gas, and water are not luxuries, but necessities. Companies now realize that consumers want products that will not only work effectively, but also save money. For most North American households, lighting accounts for 10% to 15% of the electricity bill. However, this amount can be reduced by replacing an ordinary 100 watt light bulb with an energy saving bulb. These bulbs use a quarter of the electricity of standard bulbs and last eight times longer. Therefore, consumers can save about US $7 to US $21 per bulb. In Europe, there is a labeling scheme for refrigerators, freezers, washing machines, and tumble dryers. The label tells the consumer how much energy efficiency each model has compared with other appliances in the same category. Ultimately, these innovations will save money as well as conserve the Earth's resources. Are you looking for a cheap, clean, effective source of power that doesn't cause pollution or waste natural resources? Look no further than solar energy from our sun. At present, most of our electricity comes from the use of coal, gas, oil, or nuclear power. This power could be provided by the sun. 1% of the solar energy that reaches the earth is enough to provide power for the total population. Many countries are already using solar energy. Solar panels are placed on the roof of a house and the sun's energy is used to heat water. The energy can be stored for a number of days, so on cloudy days you can use solar energy too. Sweden has an advanced solar energy program. There, all buildings will be heated by solar energy and cars will use solar power instead of gas by the year 2015. Are you looking for a cheap, clean, effective source of power that doesn't cause pollution or waste natural resources? Look no further than solar energy from our sun. At present, most of our electricity comes from the use of coal, gas, oil, or nuclear power. This power could be provided by the sun. 1% of the solar energy that reaches the earth is enough to provide power for the total population. 
Many countries are already using solar energy. Solar panels are placed on the roof of a house, and the sun's energy is used to heat water. The energy can be stored for a number of days, so on cloudy days, you can use solar energy too. Sweden has an advanced solar energy program. There, all buildings will be heated by solar energy, and cars will use solar power instead of gas by the year 2015.